love it. The weather is nice. Okay, I'm gonna do some uh, target shooting with my uh, FI game back air rifle. Uh, I'm doing a sight zero my scope to uh, 50 yard and uh, 100. How accurate it is. I have uh, brought a uh, different um, slug and pellet, different uh, grain as well. So I'm gonna try all of them. Today I'm coming here with my uh, brother and his beautiful uh, Tacoma. It is very, very, very cold. I just step into this thing for about three seconds. My legs are numb. I have my gun on top of this uh, awesome uh, Tacoma. It's 2012 TRD Sport Package uh, 4x4. Love this Tacoma, man. Look at that her. Look at her, guys. Isn't that beautiful Tacoma? Man, Tacomas never go wrong, man. Mid-side Tacomas, especially a TRD off-road right there. TRD off-road right there, guys. Here's all my junk. Got my GoPro right here. I'm gonna sit in the driver's side and uh, do a target shooting over there with my uh, Look at that gun out there, man. I will go through all those, uh, what I have done to it, and uh, badass, man. These guns are laser, laser beam. And talking about precision, oh man, it's spot on. It's my backpack with all the gear for the gun. Um, battery, whatever, uh, slug, I mean, pallet, uh, slug, uh, everything's in here. So yeah. Um, Still a little bit hot, but uh, let me uh, go through this uh, beautiful FX impact that I own here. Sit right on top of these uh, badass uh, Tacoma 2012. All right, let's go over this gun here. All right, first of all, I'm gonna go from the top down. Uh, again, this is uh, FX Impacts M3. Um, I uh, have my uh, GoPro Hero 7 uh, on the side cam shot here using a, a Eagle Vision. This is our Eagle Vision uh, side shot. Um, my scope is by Orkin. Uh, it's a SH4 Gen 2, uh, I think like 6x24x50 by by millimeter, I would say. Beautiful scope, I love it. And from down here, next step down, I have my uh, Sable Tactical uh, 20 MOA uh, top rail. Beautiful, I love that as well. Also my uh, barrel, this is 700 millimeter barrel, sniper version, uh, heavy tender liner. Uh, and uh, also my uh, suppressor, this is uh, a Donnie FL. Love that, so quiet. And on the bottom, on these bottles here are stock. It's a 480 cc, but I'm thinking to change it to a 580 later on. And bottom here is also a Sable Tactical. These are the bottom uh, rail. Uh, it is mostly the Aka design, and I uh, bought a uh, uh, Aka, I mean Accutech uh, bipod and it is for a Picatinny so this bottom rail here can use a Picatinny here on the front so these are for Picatinny and these are my uh, amazing uh, Accutech uh, PC4 that's the model that it can uh, swivel and camp back and uh, left and right it's like a camber thing what you call so it can you know go this way and then you can t turn left and right as well all right that is it and the back here is also my uh, sable tactical uh, adjustable uh, butt stop beautiful man this thing look more aggressive when you take the stock one out and also my monopod uh, sable tactical as well that will work together with that adjustable and i love that monopod adjustable man this thing is so spot on when you do an uh, elevation try to uh, measure the elevation and you can see in this video I love that it's so precise so fine and smooth so yeah guys that's it so um, I will uh, 
do my uh, target shooting over there. Set it up right, right there, probably like a hundred yard. And then I'll... Pro so, yeah, we're good. Let's uh, sh do some uh, shooting with this uh, amazing uh, FX Impacts M3. Shooting 22 cal, 700 millimeter barrel with a heavy tension aligner. And I'm going to shoot slug and pellet. So, and later on, I, if I have a chance, I'm going to swap it out to a 30 cal, uh, 700 millimeter, same things, uh, barrel. So I'm going to do another target shooting as well. So, yeah. Again, I bought this uh, 90 degree uh, swivel angle from uh, uh, Utah Air Gun. That's pretty cool. So it, you can swivel back and forth like this so it won't kink your cable. So it's easier. Let's look. Lock it in. Nice and tight in there. So, so I'm gonna go to 280 bar. What I'm gonna do, I'm just release this. And then I think my pressure is already released, so I'm gonna close it and turn it. Make sure the gun on safe, the gun's not cocked. Sweet, release my uh, pressure. So my target over there is about 80 yard. Yeah, it's 80 yard from here. This is 22. I'm shooting. Um, A slug, 25 grain slug by H&N, and my uh, valve right now, my brake later number one is 100, uh, 170, and my uh, rear regulator is, what is this, 100, around 105, and my uh, third regulator back here, it is, 170 and my macro I'm shooting at 16 and my micro is exactly at 4 and my friend valve is a little bit over 4 maybe 4.1 or something like that okay so I'm shooting at 22 cal all right here we go guys Hopefully I can hit that target. There's a lot of wind right now. You can see on the tree, the leaf are blowing. So let's see. It will not affect the velocity. I mean the velocity or whatever that is. Where is it? I'm gonna turn my uh, GoPro on. Let me find the target first. Right there. My GoPro on. Okay. Oh, there's a squirrel. Oh man, Jesus! Come and help. Come and drink, buddy. Ah, oh, this leaf uh, kind of right in front of me. Okay, let's see. Let me do the. I'm going to the left. Okay. Uh, I'll do it like this. There you go. So it's a little bit to the left. Got it. Alright. Now I know. So I kind of hold over to the left a little bit. I don't know if that's because of the wind or 
period we'll get the following next one there you go got it sweet so I think because of the wind is blowing that way to the left so so I aim yep wow One mil to the left. Oh, this one's close. Oh. Okay, what's going on with this one? There you go. Last target. Okay. Oh, there you go, guy. Sweet, you can see all target on lockdown. So, I think because of the wind blowing that uh, to the left, that's why. So I got a whole over like one meal to the left. All right, I'm gonna check out my uh, target over here. You can see they all fall down. Let's uh, find out the impact. Hopefully, I can uh, make it stand up again. Go for the second round with uh, pellet this time. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's see where is the where to shoot at. Oh, I don't know. It knocked down, but I didn't see any uh, uh, impact in here. Hmm. Oh, right here, up front, on top, right here. You can see here that's the impact but I don't see anything coming out on this side there's no expand oh right here I think that's your uh, impact and that is uh, going out well, okay okay let's stick with this one okay here is the impact and back here is the disaster <laughs> expansion Look at that. And I sealed some water in there so it can hopefully it still stand. Okay, let's check out this one here. Still have water here. Where is the impact from this guy? Here's the expansion. So the impact probably somewhere from here. Uh, didn't see it. Oh, from here, right there. There, guy. Here's the impact, and here's the expansion on the back. Masses, so but still have water, so it's a good thing it hit on the top. <laughs> okay, let's get this one. This one's empty, so look at the impact. I'll look at the expansion on this one, and here is the hole of the impact. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, wow, look at this coke can. Damn, here's the impact. And here's the expansion back here. That is crazy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put some uh, dirt in here so it, it stand again. There you go. All right. So hopefully, slug will, I mean, pallet will knock it down too. We'll find out, put some dirt in here so give me some more weight to help it stand up. Cool. All right, still 80 yard for my truck. Let's do a pallet this time. Change to a pallet. Still 22 cal. I think pallet is also a 22, uh, 25 grain too. So it's not that heavy, but uh, it's, it's all right.
There's a lot of squirrel on this side, but it hasn't come out yet. Maybe it's too hot right now. Maybe you're waiting in the evening. Well, come out. Okay, anyway, let's uh, swap to a uh, pallet. Man, it's a lot of wind. Oh, you can hear a lot of wind. Strong wind. Is my target still stand or what? Oh yeah, I think I'll still stand. That looks, that's cool. That's cool. All right, let me go this side so I can swap out the from a slug pallet. Okay, let me pull this out. I think I still have slug in here. Yeah, I still have a few slug in here. Probably like 10, 20 more, 10 more rand. But, uh, all right, let's get my uh, pallet it's in here. You can see there, my backpack. I still have a full little pallet by H&N. Right there, guys. H&N Focus 22 cal. And this is a 25 grain. You can see back here on the all code. How many grain is this? No, this is 18 grain, sorry. 18.21 grain, 22 cal pallet. Okay, let's load it in. All right, fully loaded. For the 22 cal um, pallet, for 22 cal, you can load for, I think it's like 28 round. If I if I'm right, I think it can take 28. Anyway, all right, let's do the 22 uh, pallet. Oh, my target still stand. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, one of them fall down already. Yeah, the one is have no water in there. But the uh, three of them still stand, and one of them can't go still stand. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Again, the same uh, same yard, and let's uh, slap in. The 22 cal uh, pellet. Okay, let's see. Where's my target? It's right there. Turn my side GoPro cam on. Okay, again, the wind is blowing to the left. Where's my target? There you go. Let's do the coke can first, so I'm gonna Hold over the wind ditch a little bit to the right. Let's see. No. So the wind is too strong. And I'm shooting pallet, so that's why. Oh, the so wind is too strong. Let's see. There you go. Wow, I have to hold it up very about three mil to the right. Okay, well, now it's about this much because the wind is too strong. There you go. Let's hold this much. I think I hit it, but it didn't fall down. Okay, let's go to the last one. So I'm holding the windage about three mil. Close. Okay. 
Maybe this one. Oh, a little bit too late. Oh, that's it. I'm out of 28 round. So I did hit it. But uh, I did not make all of them fall down. So the last one, I hit, but it didn't fall down. Maybe it's just like a nick of hitting. So it's good. Now that if I put back onto the slug, the slug will uh, definitely uh, knock them all down per shot, I would say. So now you can see between the pellet and the slug, it make a difference. All right, so I set up another target over there. I have two coke can, which is a small mini coke can with the water inside of there. Also have a uh, bottle of water over there too. Put some dirt inside that bottle, so it helped to stand it up right there. As you can see, there's a lot of wind right now. It's crazy wind. I don't know the velocity will uh, be accurate or not, but with all these wind, you can see, you can see these leaves are blowing that way a lot. So my, I might uh, do my uh, vintage like one or two mil to the light, to the left, to uh, compensate the, the target because the wind blowing this way so strong, going to the left, I mean, go to the right. Again, that's uh, 80 yard right there. So let's see. Let me uh, range find this, get my range finder and get the distance again. Let me see, so. 80.9 80.9 yard um, I think my uh, pressure is a little low right now uh, my first regulator is a hundred five my uh, rear bottom regulator is 90 and my uh, right regulator is at a hundred even okay and my uh, macro is 16 and my micro is at four and my front valve is exactly i think 4.3 or something like that or 4.3 4.2 so all right let's uh, and this is a 22 cal uh 18.21 grain all right the wind died down a little bit let's uh, start it hopefully i uh and get that target put on my side game GoPro all right so the wind blowing to the right so I might want to do a little windage to the left about a couple mil maybe one or two mil all right let's do that one right there Oh, the wind is blowing. Come on. Nope. Come on, give me the right one right there. One on the right, Cocan. There you go. Wow. Got that one. Okay. Let's go for the bottle. Oh, I got the coke again. Man, windy. Strong wind. Let's get the bottle. I think it went in between. Nope. Come on. Bottle. I'm aiming. I'm still aiming for the bottle. Oh, the wind is so strong. Oh, 
Well, still. I think I probably need to fill up some more air or something. I don't know. There you go. Got that one. All right, Cokehead. Oh, wow. Did you see that? <laughs> nice. All right. I got them all. Okay, let's go check out. All of them are falling down. So let's go check it out. As you can see, that's too much, too windy over here. You can see that. And it did pretty good on the 80 yard with the 22. Uh, I mean, 18.21 grain, 22 cal, shooting H&N slug. I have not tried the 30 cal yet, but uh, eventually I will do it. Well, let's fly away. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> These are the can right here. I think this is a... Uh, uh, exit with a entering. I don't know. Maybe it's just this is entering. Yeah, there's no exit, huh? Or maybe it's just slide like this. Oh, okay. I see right here. That is your entering. So it bust up this way and coming out this way. <laughs> All right. Let's look at this one. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know which one is exit, which one is entering, but it's busted. Wow. <laughs> I think this is entering and this is exit maybe. That's why they expanded out here. Wow. I need to save this can, throw in a proper recycle place. Okay, leave it down. Oh man. Okay, let's see. Let's put it right here in this fine pit so it won't blow away. Look, check out the bottle. Look at this, my bottle right here. All right. Oh, see that? I have a several hit right there because it's heavy, it won't fall down. Look at that. Uh, I see. I know I hit something. See? I have uh, how many hit? I got one over here. This one right here, this one right here, this one right here. And then I keep saying, <laughs> where does it hit? I heard the sound, see, right here. And you turn around, I got several hit right here too. Got one here, one here, one here, and one here, and one down here. <laughs> so, I don't know which one is entering, which one is exit. So, yeah, you see, I put a, like a, dust of sand in there that's why it won't fall off when I it, when it hit it it's still pretty strong you see the wind try to blow it <laughs> so that's a good target then I'm gonna add some more weight to hold it all right it's still getting too hot so I'm just gonna drive around looking for a rabbit and squirrel around here guys so there's a trail going that way and a trail going that way as well that well that one just go back to our campground so I'm just gonna keep going that way last time I saw a big giant <laughs> rabbit run across uh, my way when I'm driving so especially a lot of quail out there just a lot it's just rambling like a, a pack of family quail so all right so that's where my truck at over there 80 yard 